Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. Now, I've been very excited to show you this, right? We've had a problem since we moved in this house and we've been here about, I don't know, 12, 14 years, something like that. But we've always had a problem in our bedroom of somewhere to put a TV. When we first moved in, we had an aerial fitted and a down through there. We had a small TV, you know, I'm talking proper small TV on this bracket here, which we now use as a dressing gown hanger. But that TV was far too small and too far away from the bed. And as you can see, because we're up in the loft, there is nowhere to put a TV. We have not got a wall. Apart from that wall there, of course. But you can't put it there because you're not going to be able to see it when you're in bed. So this is where our projector came in. What I did was I, I shifted the bed forward and I put this as just a PVC window board. Literally screwed it to the back of the bed as a shelf for somewhere for it to go. I did contemplate putting it higher up, but I didn't want the wires running down. I didn't want you to see the wires anyway. So... What I've done is I've literally cut a slot out of the back of there for the wires to go down the back. And then they connect to the PlayStation 3. Nothing flash, guys. But mostly we use Netflix. Uh, that's why we've got the PlayStation 3 plugged in. We watch Netflix through that and we also watch YouTube through that. So as you can see, guys, that's our bed there. Nothing flash. We've just got our projector there sitting on a little shelf at the back. But then when you turn around this way, where are you going to watch it? Because there's no wall for you to watch it on. So to solve that problem, what I did was, I fitted a blind to the ceiling. You literally pull this cord, and the blind comes down, like magic, from the ceiling. And what I do is I pull it down, so it's just above the bottom of the bed. So as you can see there then, we've got our projector, and from this angle, all we see is a big screen. So let's make it dark in here, and switch it on, and show you why I'm so excited. Another thing I like with this projector is the remote is actually glow in the dark. So let's turn that on. So as that comes on, as you can see there, let's turn the PlayStation on. And then let me make myself comfortable. This is me just sat on the bed now, lovely and comfy. Um, we've got plenty of pillows. Uh, we're gonna get a few more as well. Just, I don't know, Mrs. D wants more pillows. And this is it. Look at that, guys. That's a five foot blind there. And as you can see, the screen literally goes the full width of the blind. Look at that, mate. It's a wicked or what? Do you know what? I absolutely love it, right? Let me turn that down a minute. The thing is, guys, it's been so long. We've had this bedroom and we just had nowhere to be able to watch TV. The thing is, we were saying for years that we were going to buy one of those beds, you know, where the TV goes in the bottom of the bed and it moves up. Um, and, and that was our plan. That's what we were going to do. But like everything else, you know, when you've got kids, especially, there's always something comes up and, you know, and, and the money is better spent elsewhere. So we never ended up buying this bed. And now I couldn't be more grateful that we didn't. We've literally got a five foot wide cinema TV at the end of our bed. Literally at the end of our bed. That is like, I just... Honestly, I'm speechless. I absolutely love it so much. Look at that, mate! Now, ideally, the projector should be a bit higher up on a shelf above our heads so that it takes away the, the noise of the projector because there's a fan inside the projector. But although you can hear the fan there now, once you've got something playing on there, you don't notice it. You genuinely don't notice it. We, we, we watch, we use a projector downstairs, as I've told you before. Um, and now we use the projector in the bedroom. It is quite noisy when you've got nothing playing, as you can hear there. But when you've got something playing, you literally don't notice the, you know, the, the noise coming from it. When the screen's that big, it actually feels like whatever you're watching is actually in the room. It's huge. And as you can see on the screen there, we've got our popcorn maker that's just behind where you are there now. So last night, it was absolutely fantastic. We sat here, guys. We had our bowl of popcorn. We were sat here watching Netflix. Absolutely brilliant. Now, my idea for this was to do this on a budget. Now, the projector was £69. The blind, which is a five-foot blind, we bought from Argos, and that was £18. So if my math serves me right, that is, what, £77, I think? 
The PVC shelf which I put on the back of the headboard, I already had that down the garage. So that didn't cost me anything, but if you were to do this yourself, all you would need is a shelf to go on the wall behind you. You know, I, you can pick one up for a tenner in Ikea. But like I say, the reason I didn't do that is because I didn't want the wires. And when you're finished, watch. The screen pulls up out of the way and no one would even know it was there. And as if by magic, we're back. Now guys, I honestly can't tell you, right? Well, you can tell by how excited I am. This is a big deal for us because it's been so many years without the TV. And we had that small TV on the wall over there and you literally, you know, my eyesight's not amazing. You know, as I'm getting older, it's getting worse. And you just, I don't know, it was more noise than anything else. You know, it was, the screen was just far too small to see across the room. And we've managed to do all that for under a hundred pound. Even if you was to buy a shelf for the projector to go on, obviously you need something to put through the projector. So we've used the PlayStation 3. That's something which has been under my bed for the last year or so. And plug that in, we got Netflix, we got YouTube on there. Because we very, very rarely watch any television at all. But with that projector also, I can plug my phone directly in using an adapter which I've got. So anything that's on my phone, I can also watch on our cinema bed. Guys, honestly, right, I can't tell you how amazing it is to be sat there in bed and you've got a five foot screen right at the bottom of, of the end of your bed. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm sure it's not for everybody. Some people will say that's too big and you're too close to it, make your eyes go funny. I don't know. We find it brilliant. We thoroughly enjoyed coming up to bed earlier to watch some movies. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I love it. But also, if you didn't want it at the end of your bed, you know, you might have a blank wall in front of you. You could just project it straight onto a wall. Also, if you've got a window at the end of your bed, if you buy a blackout blind that fits that window, then you can pull it down and you can watch it actually where your window is. I mean, we've put a blind there because we haven't got a wall which is big enough and flat enough, apart from the wall behind the bed, which is no good to us. We can't see it. You'd have to watch it in a mirror. So this is my solution, guys. It cost me less than £80 for the whole thing and it's going to be hours and hours of, of fun i know that much guys if you want any further information if you'd like to do this for yourself you want any any advice i've done a video on the projector uh we got that from b&m 69 pound and the blind was 18 pound it's a blackout blind white blackout blind and that was from argos so it certainly is a cheap way of turning your bedroom into a cinema guys it is a cinema what I might do in the, in the future as well is maybe put some uh, better speakers, you know, either side. So give it a bit of a cinema sound kind of feel, you know, really make you feel like you're in a cinema. Um, and with our popcorn maker as well, we are honestly, right, in our elements we were last night. Thank you for joining me. Don't get lost or squashed. And we'll speak more soon. Bye. Sorry for the first one. It's tasty, isn't it? I like popcorn. Don't you spend no leave like... Oh, oh, oh.